Welcome back, back to your daily, daily dose, and today we are outside. For change. <laughs> yeah, I know, yes, different yes. setting. We but, are different setting. As you can see from the title, we got a brand new car. Yep, yep, yep. We're going to show you our new car. We have the Peugeot 3008. I'm all lean up. There you go. Let me straighten out. Yeah, we got the Peugeot 3008. We wasn't meant to get this car. We wasn't meant to get any car, to be honest. <laughs> it kind of just happened. Like many things just happened. But the best things in life are not planned. Or is that a bad thing to say? Nah, let's not stick with that one. No. But yeah, let's get straight to this car tour, guys. All right, we're gonna let, we're gonna let the model just jump in the car and like, give you a little tour. There you go. Okay, where do we start? Where do we like start? Conference. Uh, I'll let you look in there first. Give you guys a little yeah. tour of the inside of the car. We're gonna start at the front and then work our way back. Okay, what we got? So this is 2017 Blake Peugeot 3008. We have obviously the cockpit, the lovely steering wheel. I know she's got a nice. See. She like the small steering yeah, wheel. Yeah, I love it. It's nice and small. It's even got a shape like a racing car. Um, I'll show you guys a little closer. Steering wheel. I love you guys can see that properly. There you go. I'm good at it. Yeah. So that's the steering wheel, nice and small. We've got obviously normal things like volume button to control, um, the music, voice control, we can access our phone and stuff, obviously through the, I don't know what size is this one. Yeah, I don't know what size I don't know what size it is, but we basically have a screen. Um, but yeah, that's a nice little feature. And then obviously you've also got little shortcut buttons right here. Yeah. Alright, here we've got the shortcut buttons. What yeah, number so all of them do? Music, so obviously we can go straight to our music. Um, I'll probably show you guys as well. Should I show them? Yeah, show them, turn it on. So. When we have, oh yeah, it lights up. Same oh yeah, it's all like auto, but this car's like quite automatic. Yeah, literally got a digital dashboard, digital screen, automatic as well. The can there is a manual option as well with this car. Um, but it is automatic. Um, so yeah, so you go to music, so you click this button, it comes up with the music, so you can go for sources, you can do other radio, USB or Apple CarPlay. Or if you've got uh, Android, you've got Android, Android also. Yeah, next one. Yeah, oh, yeah Apple she's CarPlay. And obviously you can get things like your phone, so you can call people. Siri can even like read out messages, your WhatsApp messages and your normal messages out for you. Um, you've got things like maps, obviously sat nav, things like that. You can even access your calendar. Um, if you use Spot Spotify, you can use Spotify, that's what I use. So yeah, it's quite nifty, kind of sat now, it was like a mini phone. Um, so yeah, that's music, and that kind of, your phone, yeah, plastered, mirrored onto the screen. Then we have aircon, um, so when we press the aircon, this is what comes up. Um, yeah, you've got obviously hot, cold, um, you also got obviously AC in the back as well, we'll show you that after. So you can go have a hot or cold for the passenger and the driver's seat. Um, and it's like good 30 degrees today or whatever, so yeah, we needed that. Yeah, we needed that. And obviously it's just different modes, you can go really low, really high. So yeah, that's cool. What's next? you got a uh, sat nav. So basically, sat yeah. once you plug your phone into um, CarPlay, what was it, AirPlay? CarPlay? Yeah, so Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, and it kind of mirrors basically your phone. So you yeah. press that, and it comes up automatically with um, obviously your, your save maps. And your save locations. And yeah, like so we can, yeah. And obviously you can press the car button and then it comes up with like start, start. We can choose whether we want that or not. Um, lane departure, so if your car starts to swerve into the opposite lane, um, it will pull you back kind of thing, we'll let you know. Parking sensors, so we've got back parking sensors. Um, things like under inflation, so when the tires start to deflate, it kind of warns you. And then obviously traction control. Um, and vehicle settings, like normal things like headlights, comfort, security, all that kind of stuff. 
Yeah, this guy's, compared to your Brilliant old car. Depth, yeah. This Obviously is a big before, upgrade. You guys didn't know I had a Fiat 500. That was like my first car. I've only had it for like a year and then I went to big because I was ready to, for a newer car. Um, but yeah, it was a really big upgrade because the Fiat was a 13 plate, so legit you didn't have no parking sensors, no AC. Um, I just about put my plug in my phone to get music for USB. So yeah, it's a big upgrade. Back to the car, so we zoom in onto the telephone shortcut. You can see, um, takes you back up to the see your phone, um, and then this option. Obviously, you can also put yeah. photos yeah, and messages on there. on there, but also on the shortcuts, you can access things through the top. So, obviously, there's music, you can press this, it goes to the AC. So, there's really nifty shortcuts, and obviously, time and things like that you can change in the settings. And obviously, everyone knows this kind of button, the hazard button, yeah. That's a boring button. It's not yeah, and um, we've also got when well, we in the car. There's a lock button, so it's automatic lock. Automatic lock. We can also access the car and press it. Obviously, these everyone knows what these are. And recycling the air into the car. Blah blah blah. blah. And obviously, this is the new or play button for the music. Down here, obviously, we had to get yeah. the automatic. Yeah. So good. the gearbox is completely different because my I did have an automatic before, but I had. Um, I can't remember what it was called. Basically, it had a manual option, but it was a bit more of a flickery one. Whereas this one, you're just more holding the button, pushing it back to drive or reverse. And then we've got a handbrake, which is a parking brake, which is a button. Obviously, we're so used to obviously the what's it called? Manual yeah, handbrake. Manual handbrake, yeah. manual handbrake. But this one's just a button, so we just press it, um, and it goes straight into park. And then the handbrake comes up automatically. And then you got my favourite button right favorite. there. Favourite. Sport mode. Yeah, sports mode, that's my favourite button right there. Like, as soon as I get on the motorway, or highway for you American people, press that button and I just fly, bro. I like yeah. it. Yeah. And this girl's holding on to the handles as well. Yeah, I don't, I don't go fast. But, um, um, yeah, what else we got in the cockpit? Um, we've also got, obviously, this bit, I don't think I saw. Um, There's a little like bit where we can put phones, so we can put phones or our glasses, we put our sunglasses there. And then there's another little bit here. Oh, you're talking about the light, oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, bad cameraman today, what am I doing? Yeah, you are. Well, obviously, we put our phones where they're plugged into USB, and also we've got a little car air freshener. It still smells good. So, yeah, so it's, it's loads of compartments with so much more compartments to show you. Um, Like normal cars, good cars. Obviously, we had the bottle holders, so we could put water bottles or whatever. Going from McDonald's drive through getting drinks, I easier. Know. I had a BMW before and I literally had no cup holders and I don't get what car has no cup holders because that was annoying man. Literally Easy. holding drinks on my lap and stuff like that. But <laughs> Easy when you have cup holders. Yeah. Um, yeah this is massive, like we've got is, the biggest. We've got a massive storage, don't mind the mess. So obviously we've got things like car sweets, chewing gum in there, I've got some little, little what, car wipes. Um, that is deep though. And it's so yeah, it's cool. so deep, some car chain, but it's really deep, like I can put my whole hands. Arm in there, I can literally put my whole little book, like clutch purse in there. Mm. So that's handy, and it's also got a light in there. So if you are trying to look for stuff and you're driving in the dark or whatever, or late at night, you can just the light kind of helps you. To so be that's fair, really cool. the whole car looks nice at night time because obviously everything's electric and it's yeah. all lit up and stuff like that. So the digital um, cockpit and it's got lights around it, so it's yeah. like blue lights. Even by the dash here, where the car freshener is, is light. Yeah. And then obviously in there. So it's really nice and well lit up in the car. Even the actual car lights are really nice. Headlights, so. Um, Standard, yeah. you got a glove. Um, what's it called again? Glove box, isn't it? Glove box. God, yeah. my, my mind's gone, but yeah, yeah that's, it's not boring. Empty, that's boring but, stuff. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, the glove box. Not as big, but I don't think anyone cares about glove box because you only really used to put CDs and things like that in there yeah. back in the old days. Now, if it's. Aux or USB or Bluetooth. But yeah, so, and then obviously up here, we've got things like the light. Standard stuff. Really. Stand, yeah, standard stuff. Even the car tells you when you've got seatbelts plugged in, so if everyone is in the car, it tell you who's actually got their seatbelts on. Then, I think, I think is it, the light comes turns off when it actually... Oh, uh, it turns on, because obviously, right, yeah, we ain't got seatbelts on, but it turns yeah. on if someone's taking a seatbelt off. Yeah, so when it's when everyone's plugged in and everything, the lights turn off, but it lets you know. So even if you're driving and someone at the back, hasn't got their lights on, then you can put their seatbelt on. So that's nifty, though. It's too light. Oh, don't use that word again. She used that in the last nifty. video. Nifty. Yeah. Speaking of last video, this is new camera quality, as you guys can tell. Yeah. Like, we're getting used to using the camera, like, we're not fully there yeah. yet. Everything's kind of been like so quick, like, because obviously lockdown and stuff, we've just delayed things, but now obviously new camera, new car. I mean, yeah. Get and it in there for you guys. Our first video, we're trying to video outside, and it's not that easy because of lighting. And yeah, it's so yeah. sunny today. It's actually literally. 
it's 34 degrees in the car and it's been quite like 28 or something mm. crazy today 29 um but yeah back to the car um yeah we got a little obviously this spoke about the steering i can't even control the music we didn't even know that through the steering um you just flick the button up and down and it can change the songs um we've also got cruise control on this car on the steering wheel yeah, that's my favorite um, we haven't even used we haven't it yet, used we, haven't it yet. Used it. We, we don't know how to do it yet also it's got manual options so when you press this manual if you did want to drive not me but oh him, yeah it's got the in manual you can just flick plus and minus gear buttons shift, here yeah. gear shift so it's not like a literal manual box but it's just easy it's like an electronic version um normal things window wipers lights the automatic stuff like that um so that's easy um we can change on our dash we can change the settings so at the moment we use dials because we like to see the dials and stuff like that yeah you can keep it simple you can have just have your miles per hour at the top you can have your petrol and stuff like that and obviously yeah, as you said we keep the dials yeah we like to keep standard. the basic settings standard settings um yeah, things good with petrol as well it's not that bad yeah the petrol is really decent for yeah it's, i think it's a 1.2 liter car so it's we really still petrol. we still need to take a long trip. We want to take a trip somewhere one day and like yeah, drive. Yeah, have like a long drive somewhere. And really we can test it really. So if you have any suggestions, give us somewhere to go. Yeah, comment down below. Where we not like, South where End. You, yeah, not South End. We're like more adventurous than that. Like no offense to people that do go South End, but we want to go further. <laughs> because, yeah. Like we like traveling, so we don't want to go to the local, but go somewhere a bit further. So yeah, give so, us yeah, some comments drop a down comment below. Let us know. Um, um, yeah, no. All right, now we've moved around to the back. Basically, yeah, there's nothing special around here. It's just a bit more spacious than what we used to. A lot more spacious than the Fiat 500. It was four seats and it was three doors, so definitely more spacious. We actually got five seats in the five door. Um, yeah, aircon at the back here. Yeah, the only thing they have all, yeah, this is kind of old school. They should have had a USB, but it's still good though, that would do. Yeah, I guess it's not modern, modern. Yeah, like obviously, yeah, you control the AC from back here, so at least everybody can get some. Yeah, normal car behind the seats pocket things and um, one of the things we love the most about it is the little armrest two cup holders two cup holders yeah and also access the coolest thing to the back yeah so we can get access to the boot like if you did have something or if you went on a long journey and you want to get like a little snack out of water you can access the boot yeah funky. speaking of the boot let's go to the boot Oh, there's even a 12. A what? A little um, 12 volt thing we can plug in there as well. Didn't even know that. It's fine things out every day. This car's good for big journeys, to be fair, when you've got coolers and stuff like that. Yeah, we can also put the seats down, so the, all the back seats, as well as the passenger side seat, can go flat. So if you're moving or carrying um, loads of, I don't know, wardrobes or flat pack stuff, it's really good for that. Um, yeah, like the little cool light that you get in the boot as well. Um, you can move this you can up. All this stuff in there. I'll get this out there. Yeah. So basically, obviously down here you got the spare wheel. Yeah. You got little latches there so that you can get you this can, to stay up. That's kind of yeah. cool. So you can just get the wheel out comfortably. It's a little pocket bit here. Oh, where we get where we at? A little um, pocket. There's loads of like storage spaces. Oh, there's one on either side. Yeah. Loads of storage spaces. So if you ever need storage. Amazing car to have storage. Obviously, this drops down and yeah, it drops down into there. Do you want to lift that outside up? Yeah, you want, you want more it, space. You want more space, you've got like higher objects. Um, like if you've got loads of suitcases stocked up, so that's each other. You can just put that down. All right, yeah. she's taking a minute to check out the swag right there. Yeah, she's always Easy. styling. Oh, yeah, look at that. We've got the matching kicks on. We've got that from Florida. You don't even wear yours that much, do you? I know, I wore mine at once and I bought it like two years ago. But but, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the boot. Nothing special there, it's just, it's just quite big. Nope. Yeah, you're strong, what are you talking about? Jump leads. Um, some microphone cloths. Just little car stuff that you normally would need. Um, I'm not even sure what the sound is going to be like because obviously it's a bit windy still. But yeah. We'll see. De-icers and scrapers and stuff like that for the ice. Yeah, just little things that it's really important to have in a car. But it's beauty. The colour's nice as well. back 
parking sensors. We don't have the front ones, but of the back, back will do. Peugeot 2008, lovely SUV. Yeah, it's just chunky, nice. But yeah, so please like, subscribe, and comment down below what else you'd like to see. And yeah, we'll see you in our next video. So, love y'all. Peace.